Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows scanning of inflamed appendix with picolith in its interior. You can see the area of scan is a proportion of the right iliac fossa. And first of all, you have to scan the ascending colon and then you will find the inflamed appendix. Sonographic criteria for the diagnosis of appendicitis includes non-compressible blind-ended aperistaltic tubular structure in right lower quadrant arising from the base of the cecum. This is the ascending column. The ultrasound examination is performed to evaluate for appendicitis. Graded compression ultrasound of the right lower quadrant will reveal a non-compressible enlarged appendix. If the bowel wall layers, particularly the ecogenic submucosa is lost, it is suggestive of perforation. Appendix is a small pouch-like sac of tissue that is located in the first part of the colon cecum in the lower right abdomen. Lymphatic tissue in the appendix aids in immune functions. The official name of the appendix is vermiform appendix, which means worm-like appendages. Now again you can see the cecum. Now this is a case where patient is experiencing pain in the right iliac fossa. When acute appendicitis is suspected, scan the patient lying spine. I selected a high power that is from 7 to 11 megahertz transducer. You may put a pillow under both knees to have the abdomen of the patient relaxed. You will search a blind under tubular structure arising from the cecum. Now you can see the appendix. There is a small fluid, inflammatory fluid seen in the appendix forming abscess-like structure. First of all, you will identify the ascending column. Then one has to scan inferiorly to localize cecum and then one can see the appendix. The column will have the osta will be, which will differentiate it from small bowl. You can see the osta in the long axis view. Now you will scan cordially to reach the inferior end of the cecum and then you will have to sweep the probe to do the examination in the transverse plane or axial plane also called the horizontal plane or transaxial. The position of the appendix is variable from patient to patient so you will have to look around the cecum to localize the appendix. The localization of the source muscle is also important as the appendix is often overlying it. Now you can see the inflamed appendix and fecolith are also seen inside this appendix. So the localization of source muscle is also important as the appendix is often seen overlying it. You will start by applying pressure then apply firmer pressure to displace the bowel to avoid bowel gases. As the bowel loops are inflamed they are fixed without peristaltic movements. Most often tenderness will help you to localize the appendix. The appendix is seen on the cross-sectional scan as the concentric circle. You can see the inner lumen uh, is hypoechogenic with hyperechogenic edema surrounding it. Now if you scan in the long axis, appendix will appear in the tubular form with the same pattern. Inflammation may occur when the appendix becomes infected or blocked with stools, foreign objects or a tumor. Appendicitis is a condition in which the appendix becomes inflamed, swollen or infected, causing pain in the right side of the lower abdomen. Now again you can see the inflamed appendix having multiple picolets seen in its interior.
Ultrasound can identify an enlarged appendix or abscess. It is said that during appendicitis, an enlarged inflamed appendix or abscesses can be seen in only 50% of the patient. But I think personally that in expert hand, it may be almost 100%. The video shows the localization of the inflamed appendix. A small amount of free fluid is also seen in the lower abdomen in the adjacent area of the inflamed appendix. So again, I will repeat that by using a high frequency probe, that is high power linear probe, you can see a tubular structure in the right iliac fossa surrounded by hypoechogenic rim. This is transverse view. Now you can see a small amount of fluid is surrounding this tubular structure. Now by sweeping the probe, you can see the longitudinal view of the tubular structure. Bowl walls are thin, both ends of the tubular structure are blunt. By Applying some pressure with the probe, you can see the structure is not compressible. It doesn't collapse. A significant mucus and debris are seen in the in its inferior, but no, but fecolith are also seen in this case. The area is extremely tender with the patient experiencing intense pain. So, you can see the inflamed in fluid surrounding the, in the adjacent area of the inflamed appendix. There are multiple fecolates seen in this, in the interior of the appendix. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank